guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel. And I'm also here with Rudy. This is my new dog that I adopted. I'm sure you guys have heard about. He's sniffing the microphone and kind of a little camera shy. He's never been in the office before, but I thought it would be fun to create him in The Sims since I got a lot of requests to do so. And of course, introduce you to him. He's very, very shy. His name is Rudy and he is a total sweetheart. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. He is a hound mix as far as I'm aware. So I'm just kind of <laughs> trying to find something similar to that in the game and painting on all his particular uh, patterns and stuff. So uh, that's what we're doing here today. I'm not gonna make him stay for this whole video because he is definitely a little bit <laughs> camera shy and a little bit nervous. And he's gone now. I didn't want to make him stay too much longer. He was very confused and uh, he is new to the house and I don't want to put him under any pressure. But to give you a little bit of information about him, he is 13 months old, so just a little over a year. He's some sort of hound mix and he was found as a stray in Mississippi and never claimed and then brought up north and uh, we ended up with him. He's very, very sweet, like I mentioned and I think you could tell um, and he wants all of the love, all of the time. He is going to go and hug absolutely everyone he sees and <laughs> he's just very, very sweet. I don't remember which traits I gave him in game. We'll see that on screen in a little bit. I believe I gave him friendly, jumpy, and destructive maybe because he's been getting into quite a bit uh we're still training him he's still in those puppy stages especially because we don't know where he was before and it didn't seem like he had any commands down or anything but it's something we're working with right now <laughs> like we're we're working on and uh he's definitely been improving and he's been getting along pretty well with my cat and uh, it, it's been a good time. So anyway, I never do face cam, so this is new. Uh, hi, um, well, it's not new. I've done it a couple of times, but of course I wanted to show you Rudy, so I thought I would do that, and it'd be weird to just cut it out without face cam after I let him go. So we're doing that today. Uh, let me know if you guys like this and what other kind of face cam videos you would like to see. Of course, I need to get another light because there's some awkward shadows happening with the green screen right now because I only have one light. I need to get a second. Um, but uh, hopefully it'll be fixed in the future and we can do some more green screen videos. Plus, uh, it'll be very helpful with streaming later this year when I get back into that. Uh, but we're just painting over him, changing the color a bunch of different times. He has very simple markings. It's just like this down, down, this down, <laughs> this dark orangey brown color. Well, it's not even dark. It's like a light color, but it's very orangey. And compared to the color I originally put on, it's pretty dark. And I was just trying on all the costumes, showing my boyfriend all the different options. And we're excited about maybe getting him some kind of Halloween costume for Halloween. Of course, if he doesn't like, he doesn't have to wear it. I'm not too big into like just dressing up your dogs for your own amusement. I just think it might be cute. And if he's like, yeah, I feel confident as a giant spider or a lion or a superhero of some sort, then um, that'd be awesome. And then the, the life jackets that look like sharks are so cute. And I would love to get him that when we eventually take him swimming somewhere. That'd just be so adorable. But anyway, we are pretty much finishing him up here. I hope you guys enjoyed briefly meeting Rudy, and if you guys want me to put this on the gallery, I totally can. But I hope you guys like this, and if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody!